Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. It seems like the Ukrainian offensive or counteroffensive started. And of course, uh, one side denies it, uh, the unsuccessful side denies it, the successful side uh, confirms it. Uh, how can we and the people in the middle are like, uh, yeah, it seems like it started, but not really, but yes, but... Well, the successful side uh, claims and provides numbers, which is Russia saying that, hey, the Ukrainians attacked uh, on five fronts, uh, five directions, massive attacks, and this is what we destroyed. And the Russians are going to have a list of what they claim they destroyed. Uh, does it look like an offensive? I think it does. I also have a few articles coming from the Ukrainians claiming that no, we didn't start any uh, operation yet, obviously. I think if you uh, don't succeed in something, you're not going to say you tried. Uh, that's the, the easiest way to uh, avoid accountability, you know, or embarrassment. So, uh, and then people in the middle, which are the Western media, are like, oh, I hope you guys do something in, uh, uh, pretty soon so I can say that you started it and you are successful or something. Well, let's start with the Russians. And the Russians will give us names, numbers, locations, and so on. And then we're going to go to the other ones that are going to improve or make a clearer picture of what's going on over there. So we have here, no, uh, right, we have here, where is it? Right here. Sputnik, right? The bad people of Sputnik say, um, this article comes from three hours ago, which is right now is Monday, June 5th, 2023. Russia special military operation in Ukraine. Kiev failed to achieve goals during attempted offensive, lost up to 300 troops, Russian Ministry of Defense. So it says that the offensive started, large-scale offensive started in Donetsk direction, losing up to 300 military, 16 tanks and 26 armored fighting vehicles. And that's not all. Over the past day, the Russian Defense Ministry said on Monday, so, this is the first uh, declaration, the first statement they made, and I think they're going to give us more information down below. On June 4, the enemy made an unsuccessful attempt at a large-scale offensive in the South Donetsk direction. The active actions of the units of the Vostok group of troops, airstrikes and artillery fire in the Donetsk People's Republic and in Zaporozhye region, the enemy suffered significant losses. Up to 300 Ukrainian military, 16 tanks, 26 armored combat vehicles and 14 vehicles were destroyed in this direction in a day, the ministry said in a statement, adding that Ukraine has failed to achieve its goals. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with what's going on, but this is a big number in one day uh, relative to the war. In total, now, in the Donetsk direction, in the past day, Ukraine lost up to 425 military, a German-made self-propelled gun Panzer Haubitze, 2,000, two howitzers and two ammunition depots, the Russian Defense Ministry said. So this is a second, second statement, second, yeah, second statement here, come from uh, the Russian Minister of Defense. In total, during the fighting in this direction, up to 425 Ukrainian servicemen and infantry fighting vehicle. 14 vehicles, a German-made self-propeller artillery unit, Panzer Haubitze, 2000 and D-30 Hauizers were destroyed during the day. Also, two ammunition depots of the 24th Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian military were destroyed in the area of the settlement of Toretsk, also known as Zerzinsk, of the Donetsk People's Republic, the ministry said. So let's find that location. Okay, here is where I find this uh, Toretsk. It's by Bakhmut. Uh, and this is, uh, as they said, where is that little article right here? I think it is uh, Donetsk People Republic. So, where are we? Right here. So, uh, Toretsk, Bakhmut, Toretsk. So, I make it bigger, a little bit like here. You can't really pinpoint it in this way, but I have a better map. So this is Donetsk, north of Donetsk, uh, south of Bakhmut. I have this map right here, clearer. And we have here, Donetsk here, 
and Bakhmut is Artemovsk right here. So it's in this area. So here is where they uh, try to break the front in this area in North Zaporozhye, which is down here. And this is Donetsk right here. So Donetsk uh, right here, Zaporozhye here. This is the area where they try, according to these guys, to conduct the counteroffensive. So let's keep reading here. The, mili the ministry the ministry added that the Russian armed forces and border guards have thwarted a new attempt by Ukrainian military to penetrate the Belgorod region. All right, now let's go to these guys that say that the uh, counteroffensive did not start. We can start with this, which is actually an, an um, article from ABC News where these guys are on the fence. Ukraine counteroffensive shaping up amid attempts to destabilize Russian forces. They don't, they don't say it started already. This is June 5, 2023. They don't say it started, but they don't say it didn't start. Why? Because they're waiting to see what's going on. So they say that the country of is shaping up amid attempts. So that means what? Attempts to destabilize. So they attacked, they didn't succeed, and they call this attempts to destabilize, not the, not the offensive. That's how I take it. That's how, why, uh, that's how I take it also by the uh, Russian reports. They tried, didn't succeed, and now they say no. So well-trained, well-equipped Ukrainian combat forces are now in assembly areas, close enough to front lines areas, meaning they could launch a uh, con concerted attack on Russian positions in a relative short time period, according to Western officials. In the meantime, Ukraine has already increased its offensive operations. It's just an offensive, it's not the uh, counter-offensive both within its own borders and in Russia and beyond in order to attempt to create more favorable conditions ahead of a much anticipated counteroffensive. So they say, no, it's not a counteroffensive. It's just here and there, but they, um, no, they uh, increased. See, they increased their offensive. Next one. Next one is from uh, NBC News. Russia claims Ukraine launched a major, major attack in the east. Kiev denied the claims, which had fueled speculation that this could mark the beginning of its long-awaited counteroffensive to reclaim occupied land. Next one. The Kiev Independent, obviously. Uh, June 5. Harley Zehrung. Oh my. Russia claims to block Ukrainian offensive in South Donetsk direction. So, obviously, they say no, that's not true. It says here, the Russians claim have not been independently verified and Ukrainian authority have not responded to the allegations. And they are still in the, in the process of uh, putting together the answer, I guess. So, they say here exactly what the Russians said. How many troops these guys? Only 250 in this one. And then we got the next one. The next one is from the voice, the new voice of Ukraine. Russia spreading fake stories about Ukrainian counteroffensive, says Ukrainian military. So let's say this is 5.42 a.m. And the other one was uh, 5.43 a.m. Wait. <laughs> this is one uh, minute. This one that the Ukraine, Ukrainian military says fake inf stories. And these guys say after one minute that actually the uh, the uh, the Ukrainian military, the Ukrainian armed forces did not say anything about it, right? The Ukrainian authorities have not responded to the allegations. Yes, they did a minute before you did, right here. <laughs> okay, nevertheless, nothing to see here. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, they don't communicate with one another uh, good enough. I thought they were better at it. So. Is this the, the major counteroffensive or not? The fact is, the fact is, there is an increase of um, losses on the Ukrainian side, according to the Russians. Now, this information comes from both sides. This guy says, no, that's not, but the guys in the middle, ABC or NBC, whatever there was, ABC, I think it was, they said, well, it seems like they started and they lost this and this and that. I think this is a weasel move. I, as I stated in the previous video, I think this is the psychology behind all this. We're not gonna fanfare it. Pa, 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 pa. We started the uh, offensive, and then if it fails, oh shit, that's it, we're done. Peace. No, you're not gonna do that for that reason. If you are not successful, as it seems they're not, this it seems they are not so far, 
if that's the one you uh, you know you're not gonna tell your fellow fighters now guys go home and start plowing again the fields you're not gonna tell them that you're gonna say hey no it didn't start not nothing man these guys are lying and that's what you should do in a war <laughs> i mean you don't want your army to stay start crying and you know making children and so on you want that but not crying so that's one the other one obviously if it would have been successful then you would have told everybody guys let's go it's only rock and roll we're winning right here the russians are already moving to vladivostok okay you would want to say that and the guys in the middle they don't want to be called really liars so they're in between well the russians claim this the ukrainians say this you know they still try to play a um, uh, you know, they're in the middle, their objective. Well, they're not. We know that. But they don't want to be called in a lie like this blatant. So, on the other hand, they find all kind of uh, little uh, euphemisms. Yes, they, they have a little attack over there. They increase their offensive with some special troops to prepare the counteroffensive. Now, if this attack would have been a success, they would not be preparing, you know, uh, like... Uh, you know, when you go and have an injection, they massage a little bit over there, so you relax your muscle, then the same thing here. They prepare it first, all right? If that would be successful, the needle will be straight there in your ass, you know? But anyway, I think it started, or at least something started. The key word is something started. Something that was not before. Now, you can call that a preemptive, uh, you know, pre preparation, the little massage, or it's the real thing and they failed. We're going to find out with time. If these guys are not going to do anything in the next... Uh, maybe, I mean, they will try again, that's for sure. But then if we don't hear anything about the counteroffensive in a, a few months, it's going to be quiet. We're not, we're ready, but we didn't uh, attack yet because we don't have enough airplanes or something like that. That means this was the counteroffensive in my books. All right. Uh, that's what I think they're going to do. They're going to try one more time if this was the first attempt. Try more one more time. If that's going to be unsuccessful, they say, okay, back off, stop. This is not a counteroffensive. Time out. We lost. We couldn't push them back. And they're going to say, well, as I said, we don't have enough this or enough that, or it's not the right time. The moon did not align with uh, Jupiter or something, you know, something like that. And then we're going to try later and later will be never. Why? Because this is the end. This is how much the West could provide them uh, with a little variation, which that variation was not going to break the back of the Russian camel. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.